Hey guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the top magnesium foods, okay? Number one, pumpkin seeds have the most magnesium. Spinach, then we go to Swiss chard. Almonds, avocados, all the leafy greens. In fact, any green vegetable because at the heart of chlorophyll, which is the blood of the plant, it's that green fluid, you have magnesium as the mineral. Whereas in our blood, we have iron that makes it red. Okay, dark chocolate, but make sure you get the sugar free. Okay, you can actually have it sweetened with stevia. So when people have low stomach acids because they have heartburn, believe it or not, they're gonna have low stomach acid. That's what's causing the valve not to close, um, or they're on uh, tums or antacids. They're not gonna be able to absorb magnesium because you need an acidic stomach. Also, um, if you are not consuming enough vegetables chances are you're gonna be magnesium deficient. Over half the population is deficient in magnesium. Um, I would say that most people um, have a problem with magnesium and potassium. They have actually too much calcium. So if you have too much calcium, you can deplete your magnesium reserves. Most of the magnesium is stored in the bone, believe it or not, and you need magnesium to make strong bones. Um, but mainly it's, it's involved with muscle physiology and nerve physiology. It activates certain enzymes in the body. Um, it's involved in um, energy production. So if you're fatigued, it could be that you're magnesium deficient. Only 1% of all the magnesium in the body is in your blood. That's why when you get a blood test, it won't necessarily tell you the whole picture. Now, magnesium will improve high blood pressure. It decreases stress. It improves the quality of sleep. It helps with cramping, especially in the lower calves or the feet. And yes, you can get your magnesium from a supplement, but what's better is if you consume it from the vegetables because that way you'll get all of the minerals in the right ratios. All right, thanks for watching.